Welcome to Chris Cook for YouTube. Happy holidays to all of my viewers. And I also want to thank you for all of the well wishes that you sent me for my birthday. There were hundreds of them. And I really do appreciate you all acknowledging me on my birthday. Today I'm going to do a three dish in one. And I can do it relatively simple because I have the few ingredients that we're going to need. Now I'm the only one in my house that eats pig feet and pig ears. And uh, I'm also the only one that eats hoghead sauce. So I'm going to make mine in limited, limited proportion. And you all can make as much as you really need. But I'm going to walk you through the ingredients that you're going to need in order to do this dish. First, you're going to need pig ears and pig feet. Now, in order to, once I get these boiled, then I'm going to turn my pig feet into some barbecued pig feet. So I have some barbecued pig feet and some regular pig feet. Then after that, I'm going to turn it into hog head sauce. I don't have a head, the pig's head or the hog's head, but you can make sauce, a poor man's sauce, without having the hog head. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, uh, I also have a neck bone down here for when we get ready to do the head sauce. And I only have one, and what I did was I took the meteor neck bone out of the pack so that I could strip the meat from it. Now, in order to make my pig ears and my pig feet, I normally use crushed red pepper, minced garlic, salt, poultry seasoning, and sage. Okay, that's just to make my pig ears and my pig feet. Now, when I get ready to turn it into the head cheese, I'm going to use this piece of pork neck bone, bay leaves, adobo seasoning, thyme, I'm going to use some apple cider vinegar, but I have white vinegar sitting here, but I will be using apple cider vinegar. I'm going to use a onion, jalapeno pepper, and some celery. Now, I have this knife sitting here because this is what I'm going to cut with. This knife is sold on my set. It is extremely sharp. It's sold on my site. I'm sorry. It is extremely sharp. And this is at my site where you can also find my book. I think that if you got this, you would really enjoy using it. So what I'm going to do is go away. I'm going to cut up all of my vegetables, cut and get my meat washed and get it ready for the pot. And once I do that, I will come back and show you the next step. Now, because no one eats this but me, I'm not going to make a large amount of it. I'm going to make a relatively small amount of it. And it'll be one day before I actually post the video because the hog head sauce part of it, that has to remain in the refrigerator for 24 hours so that it can all gel together. So, I'll show you the first part of the video. Go away, get everything prepared, get it all set up in order to mix up and get it ready, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're at the stove, and I have my pig ears and my pig feet in here. Now, I'm not going to add my neck bone to that. I'm going to take this neck bone. And I'm going to put it in a separate pot over here and allow it to just go ahead and to cook. Now, all of my vegetables, including my minced garlic, I'm just going to put a little bit of this in my neck bone for flavoring. And that's my minced garlic, jalapeno pepper, and the onions. And I'm going to take the rest and I'm going to put in this pot. Okay. Now, all of my dried seasonings, I'm going to put my two bay leaves over here because that's for my, um, my hog sauce. And I'm going to put a little bit of my seasonings over in there. And the rest of them are going to go in here. This is just my thyme, my uh, adobo seasoning, the salt. Uh, the all the other things that I had that was sitting uh, at the table I've just put them in here so I'm gonna allow this to cook for roughly about two hours and I can cook it uncovered for about two hours that's probably how long it'll take maybe an hour and a half then I'll get back now the only thing that I did not add to this pot is I did not add the apple cider vinegar and that's simply because I don't like my pig feet and my pig ears, if I'm just going to eat them plain or with barbecue sauce on them, I don't want the apple cider vinegar in there. So once I take those out, 
to the stock that's left over I will add the apple cider vinegar now some people put it in when they're cooking their pig feet and pig ears and some people eat it like that and that's fine you can do it that way I just choose not to so I'll put this in a little bit later be back when this gets okay done. now we're back and the neck bone that I had that was cooking in the back while I was waiting on the pigs feet and the pig ears to uh, go ahead and cook I went ahead and I shredded that up now that's just going to be what I'm going to use for the the um, hog sauce so now I'm going to take out two of the pig feet that are going to just be regular pig feet. I'm putting them in the net container. Now I'm going to take out two of the pig feet that I'm going to turn into barbecue pig feet. And I'm going to put them in this container. And I have my oven set at 375. And I'm going to cook these two. I only have two. Like I told you, it's only me. I'm going to cook them in the oven for about 20 minutes. I didn't have a smaller container. I need to throw away anyway. So... And this is my uh, homemade barbecue sauce. It's online. It's very good. Try it. I think you're going to love it. Okay. Now I'm going to stick these two in the oven. Now. Okay. Let them cook for about 20 minutes. Now. I'm going to add to this about a half a cup of the apple cider vinegar okay I'm going to allow this to cook a little bit longer just so it can get kind of mush like then I'm gonna take it out and debone the pig feet and I'm going to smash up the pig ears and I'll show you that process and then we're gonna to put together the head sauce Okay, right we're at the stove and I want to take out my two barbecued pig feet. There they are. Like I told you, it's only me eating. So I'm going to take these two that are not barbecued and I'm going to put them in the pan. And this is, of course, you know, my New Year's Day dinner. And you know how that goes. Greens and peas. And then whole head cheese so the money will stick to you. But I can tell you, the only, only they say that this is a traditional meal. You eat the greens for your green money, the peas for your change, and then the pig feet so it will stick to you. Well, I can tell you this. There's no prosperity in that. The only thing that I see is that you save money on New Year's Day uh, dinner. So anyway, I have those sitting up. I'm going to wrap them for New Year's Day, and I'm going to take this pan, and I'll meet you at the table. But I do want to show you this. When I go in here to get my gel for my my uh, head sauce I'm not gonna take that skim see it see I pushed it back okay I'm gonna take some juice from here in order to pour over the top for it to turn to gelatin so that my hog head cheese will come out perfect so I'll meet you at the table okay now I'm back at the table where I have deboned my I had two pigs feet left so I've deboned them and I've taken everything and I had three pig ears so I've put it over in here and the only reason why I'm smashing with my hands now is because sometimes there's little fine bones that you don't get so you want to make certain that there is absolutely no bones in it now I like a lot of the cartilage or the gristle in mine that's why I used uh, pig ears so when I slice, I'll get, you know, a lot of uh, gristle with it. Now, this is the neck bone that I told you that I uh, cut up or I shredded off the bone. So I'm going to mix that in with this mixture as well. Okay, and what I did just to show you, I took this uh, loaf pan and I lined it with plastic. So that's what I'm going to put my uh, head cheese in now I like it a little bit extra vinegary so I'm gonna add maybe about a fourth of a cup more 
vinegar to this. Okay. I love the spice that it gets off. I have enough of everything in here, including uh, the hot pepper. It has a little bit of a kick to it. Not much. Okay. So now that I have that all mixed up together, I'm going to take it and put it in my loaf pan. Now this is a simple way to make this, but it still works out to be a very good dish. And I didn't go through with a lot of hassle of doing it, although I do make it the other way as well. This is just for me. I'm the only one that's going to eat it. So Now, now that I have everything into my loaf pan, I'm going to take and add the liquids. I'm trying to get that last little bit off. Okay, take my hand out of that. Now, here is my liquids. They're still hot. Okay, you can still see a little bit of smoke coming from it, but it'll be all right. And what I'm going to do now, this is the part that gels. This is the part that makes the gelatin for the uh, head sauce or hog sauce, whichever one. And in there, you still see a little bit of the seasonings that I put in there. Um, you know, the thyme and the different seasonings that I put in. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pour it over this. Okay, that's all I need to do. Now I'm going to let this sit out until it cools a little bit. Then I'm going to take it and refrigerate it overnight. Tomorrow when I come back with this video, I'm going to um, un take it out of the pan. And then I'll show you what the finished product looks like. And I'll also cut a slice of it. So I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, now we're back. And of course it's the next day. It's only been like about maybe 14 hours since I last shown, um, you know, the earlier parts of this video. But I just wanted to unmold this uh, hog cheese and show you what it looks like. Now, you, you saw it last night when I had lined it with the uh, plastic, okay? So, I'm going to take that plastic off. Then, I'm going to turn it upside down and unmold it from my container. There it is. Okay. So I'm going to take this off. And yeah, I have all the plastic off. Those little pieces are just from where that plastic met on the inside, but that's okay. But anyway, when you take it apart, this is what your loaf looks like, and then you slice it down. Okay. And that's why I say it does not take a whole lot of fuss to make, you know, um, whole cheese. Just go ahead and get you some slices off. There you go. Look at it. Front and back. And it has a little kick to it. And normally the way that you see people eat it is they eat it with some crackers. So, this is what Chris is cooking for you today. I made pig's feet plain, then pig's feet barbecued, and then I made some hog cheese. Now, I want to encourage all of my viewers, even though my sales have been fantastic, I want to encourage you to please get this cookbook. This is a generational cookbook. Some of the recipes that you're going to find in the cookbook I do not have online and I will not put them online. I think this is going to be a great addition to your family because not only can you use it, but generations to come will be able to use this cookbook. It's at my site. I will show my site 
and it's only $18 and that's not a bad price for everything that you're getting from this cookbook. So as always, I'd like to say thank you for watching Chris Cook for you too. Bye.